Hello, Ken Weller with New Tech Inventors here. And I want to talk a little bit about my newest printer, the Chronixy XY2 Pro. Uh, the XY2 Pro, I purchased two of these and uh, they just came in the other day. I assembled this one, uh, went through the process of uh, printing this little guy. The printer seems to work fine. Um, assembly is uh, quick and easy. The uh, I, I'm not here to review printers as such, but I try to let you know how they're working for me and uh, my applications here at my home uh, print farm. Um, and here we're printing parts strictly for new tech inventors at this time. And this is one of the parts that we print. This is uh, one of the more time-consuming parts. It's a six-hour print for this part. One reason I like this XY2 Pro is because it comes with a 255 by 255 build plate. That allows me to get eight of these parts on, which equates to a 48-hour run. Um, I try to keep the runs in the 12 hour uh, in 12 hour interval intervals or increments and um, so if I'm printing a larger part for example on this printer it may run for 12 hours if I were to run a couple of small parts that um, or a part that ran eight hours I would go ahead and put another uh, four hours worth of smaller parts on with it uh, provided that they require the same color and the same type of filament and uh, bring that on up to 12 hours. The reason for that is that I am trying to get to the point to where I only have two times a day that I have to go and service the printers at the and if I set up all the jobs to run in 12 hour intervals and that means they either run 12 hours, uh, 24 hours, 36 hours, or 48 hours. And uh, that way uh, I only have to go out there twice every day, once in the morning and once in the evening for the printers that are ending their print cycle at that time and um, remove the parts, uh, add filament if necessary, and restart the printers to run another cycle. So this is the more efficient way that I'm looking at operating my print farm. Um, it's a very small scale here. Like I said, it's pretty much a one-man operation. I work out of my home. However, I have outgrown my space. I have uh, now uh, over 50 printers and I cannot run them all from the location here in my house. So I do have another building on this property uh, where I live that uh, I used to use when I was in the construction business. So I'm converting a portion of it um, for 3D printers. It's approximately 500 feet from the house so I have to, it's not as convenient as just coming upstairs to this bonus room and being able to service the printers. I have to go outside and walk 300 feet or 400 feet to get to the door of the building and then go inside and uh, I'll be servicing the printers that I take down there. But I'm, like I said, I'm getting ready to set up several of these larger ones um, down there that will run these longer cycles. Um, that's, that's about it uh, as far as the um, Tronic CXY2 Pro goes. I, I like it. I think it's going to work out well. I'll keep you informed on how it's doing and as soon as we get them set up at that location 
Uh, I'll do some videos and post them and we'll see how well they're printing. And uh, as I've said in other videos, uh, it's, it's risky when you run a large 36 or 48 hour print job because there's a lot of vulnerabilities. You don't want anything to interrupt that print job that may destroy all of the parts. Um, so I have to make absolutely sure if I'm, and this is going to be one of the printers, this and the ANAT um, ETX4s that I'm going to be running down there. And I need to make absolutely sure that my print jobs, the way they're set up, they can run. So I'll run a couple of them up here first, and I'll run them in the configuration and just see how well it does. Uh, once I get down there, uh, even though these printers are capable of recovering after a uh, power failure, we don't really want that to happen, so I'm going to be um, using some beefy uh, UPS systems, which um, will be using uh, marine batteries, larger batteries, so that they'll be able to um, sustain these printers for several uh, several hours uh, in case of a power failure. And um, in case of that, I'll be alerted and I'll be able to, if necessary, uh, start an auxiliary generator that I have to uh, continue to provide power so they can keep going. I have been running several jobs before. I had uh, 15 printers one time running that um, all lost power at the same time when a circuit breaker tripped. And once power was restored, they all recovered well and I had no damage to any of the parts that they were printing. So. The recovery is good, but it's always better if you don't have to count on that, if you can keep power going to your printer. So we'll be talking about that a little bit, and uh, uh, as far as the print farm's going. And hope you'll be watching, and we'll talk to you then.